One common question that prospective law students tend to have from time to time is who exactly is making the admissions decisions on their behalf. And so there are three basic models that I myself know of. While each school is different, these are some of the models that are currently in place. The first model is where admissions officers have the authority to both review and decide um, on who will be admitted to their school, which means that they review the applications as well as make the admissions decisions all within um, the admissions office. A second model is where admissions officers review applications, they make notes, they leave a summary of each application, and they pass that summary on um, to school faculty or other administrators who are part of a committee, um, and they essentially use those notes to tell the committee who each applicant is, and the committee, where that is composed of school faculty or other administrators, the committee is who makes that actual admissions decision rather than the admissions officers. And then the third um, way that applications are reviewed is more of a hybrid process. That is where admissions officers, as well as some school faculty or other administrators, review together um, and both play a role in making a decision. So both parties have the authority to review applications as well as to share their input and play a role in making the deciding fact or make play a role in making the final decision. So there is three models again. The first one, admissions, admissions officers both review and decide. The second one is admissions officers review, but school faculty or administrators decide. And the third one is a hybrid process where both admissions officers as well as school faculty or other administrators review, and both of them play a role in deciding.